So I saw Snow dropped and I'm super excited because I love Snow the product, especially when she's rapping. It's called Hopeful. I'm assuming she's not rapping. I'm not hopeful that she's rapping. She's probably, she's probably singing, which is fine. I still love you. I just like when you rap a little bit more. I love that more, but how can I blame somebody for, you know, maneuvering different? Cause she was originally very heavy, more, a lot more heavier in the rapping. Then she kind of switched over to more like poppy stuff and then do a lot more Spanish music, which is dope which is dope. I'm glad for those fans, they can enjoy that. Um, especially your non-English speaking fans. That's dope for them. But for me, rap and, and English for me, just a little bit more, just a little bit more for me personally, because I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. And it sucks when like, I hear she's like spin and it's just in Spanish. And I'm just like, I really want to enjoy this. <laughs> That's why I'll be on my Duolingo. I've been trying it, but I can't, like I said before, I can't Duolingo faster than you can rap. I can't, it's impossible. It's impossible. I've been on that Duolingo too. The past like two months, I've been off of it, not gonna lie, but I gotta get back on it. But I was on it heavy for a while. I was like diamond or whatever. I was one of the higher higher ranks on there. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. She's probably gonna be singing and she sings great. You know, and like, oh, what I was going to say was like, I can't blame her for maneuvering different in a market that doesn't appreciate her. You know what I mean? Like, she's a female rapper. It is what it is. They don't get appreciated. They don't get appreciated unless you're doing, you're, you're sexualizing yourself, essentially. She didn't want to do that. So you're not going to get that money. It just is what it is. <laughs> or you're not going to get it as much as the other people. You're not going to reach this level of success because it's a very misogynistic industry music industry is very misogynistic but then you also have um women that are not helping not they're just contributing to that misogynistic aspect of the music industry and sexualizing themselves even though when they they have a platform where they don't have to do that anymore they continue to do it all their album covers are just naked you are in a position where you objectively do not have to do that anymore and you will be successful and they continue to do it which then forces younger artists to have to do the same or they won't be successful you look at rhapsody she's successful but she's not a superstar she should be she's one of the best rappers out period let alone a female rapper so like i can't blame snow for it look they're not gonna appreciate me here so i'm gonna do these other things i'm gonna just do straight up spanish one it makes her more unique it makes her more valuable but then it's also kind of dipping into different markets so i get it but you gotta come back and show because how I, I was introduced to, to snow through crooked eyes slash king crooked's not for the weak-minded song and I'm like, oh my God, this is like, she's incredible. Not just for a female, just in general. I need more of that, you know? Just give me, just give me like, just give me some albums. Just go a couple albums. I was going to say an A album, but I'm, I want want more than A album. I just, or just like go back and forth, you know, like she doesn't really drop albums in general, to be honest, but I don't know, bro. I don't know, but I'm mad. <laughs> I'm assuming she's gonna sing on this. This, I, I get the vibe. I know her enough to know what I'm gonna get when I see a song title, <laughs> and it's probably gonna be good. So I'll wait to like it. I might not like it, but she's good. What is this menu? How do I get to the album? Um, you a hater if you bring it up a year ago, bitch. Let me tell you what it is right now. I've been really working on a glow up. Why you trying to dim that down? Baby, want to see me in the dump, want to give me back alive and drunk. Bitches love drama, and I'm not the one bad bitch. Scratch too, but bitch, I'm not your dunce. Let me tell you a little bit about my motivation. Resilience in situations. When you get in bed, you quit hating. Better heighten that vibration. Better lock in, bitch. Lock in, bitch. Lock in, bitch. Lock in. Have you gonna win this? Gonna win this. If you keep letting the negative. Okay, she's rapping. It's like pop rap, but she's rapping. She's rapping. Uh, I'll take it for now. I love doing that Tech Nine track on the Collabos album. How do I get to this out? What is, bro? Apple Music is so trash, bro. I don't know how to navigate this. I felt that. I do too. I 
I love this song. That's, that's all I was doing, navigating these menus. I just wanted to say I love this song. I just couldn't remember the names. I loved it. That was it. We can go back. <laughs> Let me tell you what it is right now. I've been really working on the glow up. Why you trying to dim that down? Baby, want to see me in the dumps? Want to get me back and live and drunk? Bitches love drama, and I'm not the one. Bad bitches cry too, but bitch, I'm not your dunce. Let me tell you a little bit about my motivation. Resilience in situations. When you get in bad, pray you quit hating. Better heighten that vibration. Better lock back, bitch. I can't, bitch. I can't, bitch. I can't. 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 Bitch. I can not um, uh, in Detroit, I was downtown, and where was I at? But I looked across the street, and Snow Product was having a concert, and I'm like, "Dang, I really want to go." The line was down the block. Um, where was I? What was I doing? Who was I with? I was with somebody, and I was talking about it. I don't know, bro, but <sighs> I love Snow. <laughs> I love. I love her music. I love her energy, everything. I'll be on her podcast, when, not on her podcast, but listening and YouTube channel and stuff. All that. But I love Snow. Yeah. But yeah, I really liked it. I, I don't know. It's not much much else to say. <laughs> I'm being honest. It wasn't like anything like crazy to really comment on or anything like that. But yeah, no, I loved it. I'm about to listen to it again while I listen to other or I look for what I'm going to listen to next. Um, they didn't even play. What was that? Do as you're told. There we go. We're gonna we're just gonna vibe. It's, it's just a good vibe. It's, you know, it's, you know, sometimes that's all you need. But same thing here. It's like a good vibe. It's talking about the sun. It's just happy. Big Sean on up. It's kind of just another one of those. I might make a playlist. Just good vibes playlist. That's what I'm gonna do. See, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what I'm learning. In in the past few years, is stop doing things that just contribute to any negative feelings you're feeling. You know, like like when you're sad, listening to sad songs and stuff like that, that's not helping. You know, you're just making it harder for you to get out of your that hole or whatever. So let's just listen to positive stuff sometimes. Just, you know what I mean? Listen to positive things. Stay positive. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, and, and sometimes that's a lot harder to do because it's easier to just be sad all the time. You know, it's easier to, you know, when you're sad to stay in bed and not do anything. Like, no you have to make an effort you want to feel better you have to make an effort you know you want to feel better you okay that takes work you know it, it's unfortunate to, that it takes work but it, it's not going to happen just sitting around but then not only are you just sitting around you're just listening to stuff that's just draining you it's just negative i'm just talking about in people all the time or you know just materialistic things you know we need good vibes like this. You know what I mean? These, these songs are necessary. Absolutely. And I'm going to listen to it again. So you can go do the same thing. You know, we've only been here for eight minutes. Let's just run it back. Let's just run it. Back. Whatever. You know, I need the video to be like 10 minutes anyway. So we're just going to run it back. I love her voice. I'm, I sound like I got a crush. <laughs> I love her voice, though. You bringing up a year ago, bitch. Let me tell you what it is right now. Right now. I've been really working on a glow up. Why are you trying to dim that down? But I would like to hear, like, this is gonna be completely contrasting to what I just said. I would like to hear more, like, dark. Why does it do this? What is this menu that it's giving me? I, give me the real Jesus Christ. I would like to hear more of this, more of this snow over, like, darker beats. You know what I mean? Like, going crazy. I would like a little bit. But this, like I said, this is necessary for right now. This is necessary. It's summertime chill out vibe you know what i mean be happy be happy i'll be miserable all the time that's why it's important on albums to be able to tie everything together all the time um book of ryan is a perfect example of that it ends on a very happy note even though the album the content of that royce 59 book of ryan it's very heavy but then he ties it all together with a song that's happy first of the month with t-pain so not only is it a call back to the t-pain um, line that he had in on lighters about T-Pain not wanting to work with him so it's a good kind of ties a bow on his career not a ties a bow on his career but like you know a nice full circle moment in his career but then also ties together the album well where it's happy and joyful it's it's hopeful you know but then it also has the heavy content within it that's kind of what I want from Snow like I want I would love an album 
that kind of told tells her life story you know in a way that's not all in spanish because i i can't understand it selfishly <laughs> i can't understand it i'm trying i'm on duolingo i'm trying but yeah I'm, what i'm saying is there's a way you can mix this type of stuff in with heavier content and I would like to see her try that. She only literally only has two albums, but she has a bunch of mixtapes, not a bunch, but she just doesn't, doesn't do full projects, which she's finding success just dropping singles, which I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, she's just, she's playing the industry her way, you know, and it's working. You see, she has all these placements and Marvel and she was on the Hamilton soundtrack, I think. Just TV shows, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But yeah, let's, let's vibe one more time. Look at my girl though. I remember she didn't have, bro. I, she used to look so different. Like when I first started listening to her, was like doing fine. You no, know I think I keep pausing. This. I think there's no point in me really listening to it. I think I might start like a series where like I go back and listen to an artist when I first heard him. Like what introduced me to that artist? Snow, I already said, was with the Crooked Eye song, King Crooked song. Um, uh, somehow just forgot what it was even though i talked about it earlier um dizzy Wright was like calm down calm down let me get you high get you high looking for a reason to be mad and i don't know why like that song um they're just discussing like what made me a fan what made me continue listening to them you know and i think i think that would be dope but it's just it would just be a matter of finding the songs you know remembering which songs made me a fan you know what i mean because I've been a rap fan my whole life, so it's kind of difficult to pinpoint a lot of those things. It's not like I'm, I just started listening to rap like in 2014 or something like that, you know what I mean? Like a lot of these people, when I became fans, I was a kid, you know? Or I was so consumed by all this rap that it was just, that was just another random Saturday for me. I'm just scrolling, listening to music. I'm gonna listen to this a lot. I can tell. I know. Um, you a hater if you bring it up a year ago, bitch. Let me tell you what it is right now. I've been really working on the glow up. Why you trying to dim that down? Baby, wanna see me in the dumps? Wanna get me back in life and drunk? Bitches love drama, and I'm not the one. Bad bitch, mm -hmm. right too, but not at all. You done. So let me tell you a little bit about my motivation. Resilience in situations. When you get in bed, pray you quit hating. Better heighten that vibration. Better lock down, bitch. I can, bitch. I can, bitch. I can. Have you gonna win this? Gonna win this. If you keep letting the negative win. I love that. I love snow. I love her so much. <laughs> Bro, I swear I've been listening for so long. But, uh, yeah. All right. I think, uh, think that's enough for me. Enough glazing. Um, I will continue next time she drops something. Or I'm just probably going to keep listening to this song over and over and over and over again. I love this song. I'm on a wave, on a wave, on a wave. Yeah, I'm butchering it, but I'm living out the day. I'm going to keep me going. I made a lyric video for it. It's on my channel. You should check it out. It was, it was one of my shorts, though. So it was back in the day when I was making shorts, um, like lyric video shorts. So you're going to have to scroll through uh, or go to playlists. And then I'll probably put a little thing if I remember. Maybe I won't. I probably won't remember. So go to the playlist and it'll be, it'll say like lyrics in a minute. And then in that playlist, it's the lyric video shorts that I used to make. I don't do those now. I'm just, um, I, I haven't made an actual lyric video in a minute, but I'm more focusing on making full length lyric videos and then dividing those into shorts. Um, but, uh, yeah, do that. Go do that. All right. That's enough. Bye. Um, I don't do the whole outro thing. <laughs>